Now, it's no secret that being an Uber driver isn't easy when you have to deal with entitled Karens, from vomiting to middle-aged women claiming that they are the law. So, in this video, we take a look at when Karens and Uber drivers collide. Kicking things off in this first clip, we have this Uber driver who won't accept this man's trip unless he gives him some extra money, all because the passenger reportedly has a refrigerator, except that it clearly shows that it's a mini-fridge. Yeah. Look, so this guy is asking me for a tip because he's an Uber XL, and he doesn't want to take me because uh -huh. I have a mini fridge. He wants a little bit something extra in uh -huh. order for his trouble. So no, he's you he's asking. It's a mini fridge. It weighs sixty one pounds. It's a refrigerator. It's a mini fridge. Look, if you don't want to take me, then be my guest, cancel, and I'll get somebody else to come pick me up. Yeah. But you're the one that's gonna cancel. It's it's you, Siegfriedo. That's your name. Yeah, whatever the f you said, I'm going to fix it. Yes, okay, well then cancel. You're an Uber driver, it's your job. I really, I, I, bye. After the incident went viral, many people commented explaining that Uber drivers usually prefer for the passenger to cancel the trip rather than themselves to avoid losing their bonus plus a nasty strike. But it also appears this Uber driver doesn't know the difference between a full-size refrigerator and a mini fridge. Moving on, now it's known that Karens always love to believe that they are never wrong. But this Karen was not expecting to be kicked out after she put the wrong address in three times and then begins to blame the driver. Ma'am, I canceled the ride. Please get out of my car. Are you kidding me right now? You've been screaming I'm... at me the whole time. You put I in the wrong nothing. address. Get out. I just wanted to go to the courthouse. Yeah, and you gave me three different addresses. Now you're no, telling I'm me not. to go to East. You put it on your phone. It's yeah, different. because I could have just canceled. You should have put the right address on. I, I don't did. have anything to do with it. Planned Parenthood is not the right. I didn't put that in. You know what I do? I accept the ride. I take the ride. It tells me where to go. Okay. It's your well, job to put me, in the right. Give me, give me the whole situation. Okay. What situation? All right. So, what was the address? The address that you put that I was assigned to because I don't touch the addresses because I don't know where the hell you guys are going. Okay. So was Planned Parenthood. We got there. That you were still being rude. Not, to this is what it says on my address. Even when the driver says the address is fixed, she still complains. Yeah, now that I fixed it. No. Yes, because cause I, I fixed it for you. No, that's not even the reason. I'm not the one who put in the Planned Parenthood. I'm the one who fixed it to the right address. Can you please get out of my car? Well, then you're not getting paid. I don't give a shit. I'll talk to Lyft about it. I could literally deny you because you're rude. I was not rude. You're the only rude customer I've had in about two and a half years. Please get out of my car. I've never asked anybody to get out except for a man who groped me. Continually asking her to get out, the Karen completely has other plans. Can you leave my car? The ride's canceled. Can you get out of my car? What? I'm the one who canceled it. The video later received millions of views with the driver releasing a statement saying that the lady was still charged for the full ride and she was later paid. Up next, we have this Karen that was not expecting to be refused service after saying some pretty racist comments. Take a look. Hello, for Jackie, right? Yeah. How are you? Yeah. What's that? Are you like a white guy? Excuse me? Are you like a normal guy? Like you speak English? Sorry. Sorry. No, you can get out of the car. I'm gonna what? cancel a ride. That's inappropriate. What? It's completely inappropriate. If somebody was not white sitting in the seat, what would be the difference? Are you serious? She said, wow, you're a white guy. Oh, well. That's okay. I'm not going to take the ride. You guys can get out. Really? Yeah, completely inappropriate. Oh, you're a f asshole. It's all on camera, man. It's all on I camera. I should punch you in the face. You're gonna oh threaten God. me? Yeah, assault. I'm threat yeah. Wow. 
Because you guys are racist. Yeah. No, no, I'm calling the cops on you, man. It's all on camera. It's all on camera. Do you guys own the place? Is it your place? That's great, everyone's gonna know. A statement was released from the company the driver works for, stating, We are incredibly grateful to our Lyft driver for instantly shutting down this hate and upholding our no-tolerant anti-discrimination policies. We are looking into these riders. For some backstory to this next clip, the passenger falsely claimed that it was a medical emergency, but took a long time to get into the Uber. During the ride, she was rude and condescending to the driver, and right near the end, she cancels her ride, and that's when she began recording. You are at the hospital! Administration is right here! I'm going get to in the there. emergency room, sir. Get in there! Where? Get out of my car now! Where is my get destination? Get out of my car now! Sir, I'm asking you- Get out you of my car now! I have the right to tell you when to get out of my car. I it's am, right now! I don't know where I am. I'm asking you where is my destination, if you will kindly point I at where I am pulled into your destination. It said here I was at your destination. It's over. Get out of my car now. It said 1760. Get out of my car now! Sir, it said- GET OUT OF MY CAR NOW! Why are you yelling at me? BECAUSE YOU WON'T GET OUT OF MY CAR! But you're not to yell at me. You are not to Nine, yell at me. one. Do it. Do it. Do it. Get out of my car. Where is my destination? Get out of my car. Sir, can you just tell Get me- Get out of my goddamn car! Now! Despite being asked to exit, she continues to act like she doesn't know where she is. Sir, can you please tell me where my destination is? I don't give a- Get can out you, of the car now. Can you please tell me Get where my destination the is? Now. The ride is over. You have been extremely rude, extremely condescending How this whole trip. How have I been extremely rude? You kept me waiting way too long. You showed up and told me you were in a hurry when you showed no actual effort to be in a hurry. Get out of my car now. I am just Get out you. of my car now. I don't know where I am. Get out of my car now. God damn you to hell. Sir. Get out of my car. I am asking you- Get out you of my car! It is my goddamn property! Get out! Now! Now! She continues to refuse to get out even though they have arrived at the destination that she put in. You are facing get a very- Get out right now! You are facing Get a out of my car! Very... I'm facing a moron! Get out! Now! You're facing the- Now! You have no right to scream at me? I will f talk to you any goddamn way I want. Really? Yes, I f will. And I have the right. You have the right to scream at me? Get out of my car! You have the right to scream at me. I have asked you to leave my car multiple times. And Get I out of am my car. asking you in a Get very out of educated my car! manner. Where am I? You're at a hospital. Where, where you need to be, get out of my car! Uh oh Can you get her out of my car, please? I can't put hands on Where is the emergency room? That's on the other side. I'll walk you on over. the other side? Yeah, I'll walk you over. No get way. out Thank of you. my car! It's clearly obvious that the woman was the one being difficult in the situation, as she wouldn't remove herself from the car. The video went viral with everyone taking the driver's side. It's kind of obvious when you cancel your ride, because that signature sound will go off to inform the driver you have canceled your order. But this lady tried her luck anyways. So everything is going pretty normally until this woman decides to try to pull a fast one on me. Did you just cancel your ride? No. It says you just canceled. You gonna look at me? <laughs> no. Why did you cancel your ride? I don't know. That's not cool at all. You need to get out of my car. Really? Yeah. You gotta admit this woman has an impressive lack of self-awareness. 
She literally admitted to canceling the ride, which in turn screws me out of the fare for that trip. Unlucky for this lady, but she didn't think it through when the driver told her to get out of his car. After noticing, she thought she could get away with a free trip. Now, sometimes not all Uber drivers are so innocent, and it seems like sometimes some drivers are trying to make excuses to not complete a trip, just like this one who kicks out a passenger all due to them saying no to a tip. I've been in Philly, and sure, but I've been from the airport, I've been... Everywhere, and it doesn't show anywhere on here it shows like tips. That's just rider fee payment. It doesn't show anything for tips. Sure, but that's not the nature of the business though, right? Well, so, I'm offering a personal service. What are you getting paid, two ninety five an hour? Um, I'm, I average around $4 right there. That's around, after you take out gas and vehicle wear and tear, I'm probably making around 3 Okay, well, you won't vehicle wear and like, I, this is I my car. I actually don't appreciate it. I actually find that, like, mildly offensive because that's just not the way the business works. It's your car. You you agree to sign on to the service as to you know the terms and condition when you sign off. So if you're signing on to the service and you know the terms and conditions, to put up this signage as to, like, you're not getting a tip. Even though the passenger informed him that he signed up for it, he decides to kick her out instead. Yeah, you can get out of my car now. Sure. I'm obviously not getting out in the middle of the road. But sure, I will. Yeah. That's fine. I can't believe you put all over your car that everybody has to tip you. I, yeah, I didn't Uber say you have to. Right, the signs are everywhere. I've been taking Uber for like four years. Yeah, I never said you have to. I'm just saying it's a nice thing to do. Sure, that's fine. You're going to pull over. That, that, this is going to be a fun. It's going to be a fun of you. <laughs> Won't break my heart if I get fired from Uber. <laughs> Listen, you're definitely not going to get tips though, right? <laughs> I've already got like $30 in tips. <laughs> well, this Karen learned that her actions do in fact have consequences. You can't turn it up. No, I'm not turning it up. Why? Because I said so. You're so f***ing lame. Like you're dead f***ing lame ass motherfucker. Okay. Ever. You can't Turn That's it up. Perfectly. You That's can't turn it up. Fine. You can't turn it up. That's perfectly fine. You're annoying as I'm gonna wait you. I'm gonna wait you zero stars. <laughs> Look at you. Nah, nah, you're 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 no, 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 no. No. I'm kidding. Oh, I'll, I'll pay you thirty dollars. No. Nope. You done said it. I'll literally pay you thirty dollars. You can walk the last point four miles. I'm done. I put up with enough for you. Now hop out of my car. I'll we pay are done. you thirty bucks. We are done. Wow. 